It's the Insane Board Game Freak Show. Oh, so I suppose we're doing another vintage board game? Yes, because... And how could I know that? Because we're on this side now. All the vintage board games. Not this side with all the new board games. That side old, this is new. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, you should have remembered that the last two games that you reviewed. Well, those games weren't vintage. Yes, but they were vintage style. The style of the board games were vintage. Nah, whatever, anyway. <clears throat> Alright. So. Be first to get Sigmund back to the shack. From the popular television series. It's the... Uh, game... Hold on a second, people are making a lot of noise. Let's start this all over again. It's the Insane Board Game Freak Show! Sigmund, you're a rotten sea monster! Sigmund, you're through! Scram! Get out of here! Oh, there's nothing like a day out on the beach when all it does is rain. You need somebody else to join you and play this board game. Friends, knocking on the board game room door. Friends, friends if you're young or old to play this board game with. Every Everybody needs friends. Yeah, too bad you really don't. I do so have friends. <laughs> Up your bum. Up yours and only. Be first to get Sigmund back to the shack. Sid and Marty Crofts. In this episode from the popular television series, Sid and Marty Crofts. Sigmund and the Sea Monsters game. The board game. Quick to the board game room. Where's your hat, Vin? So it's been a while since I've done a vintage board game review. Anyway, quick, that's much better. To the board game room. <laughs> friends, on your young or old, everybody needs friends to play these board games with. I don't want to hear anything nasty down in the comments box down below, otherwise, you're through. Scram! Alright, all you board game freaks out there, Sid and Marty Crotch, Sigmund and the Sea Monsters game. The board game. Alright, let's see what this game is all about. Let's crack this baby open and see what it's all about. Oh, okay. Alright, all you board game freaks out there, Sigmund and the Sea Monsters game. The board game. Alright, so now, in this game, you're going to get um Sigmund. Alright, he's going to be over there. He's going to start out over there. Uh, he's a sea monster. There's his fam. There's the fam. <laughs> it's the Ooze Family Cave. Cool, man. All right, so you got right here, you have a stack of cards. You're going to shuffle up. These are going to be your directional cards. So you're going to place cards face up on this square. Count this as one space and follow arrows. Okay? Um, You can keep this stack of cards on the side of the board if you want. It's not really that necessary because as you're moving him around, he'll be on this space here. And then um, he'll be going like that way. It'll be like directing him to go. So like when you land on this, since it's pointing down, you gotta go down then. All right. Or when you reveal the next one, it's gonna be facing that way. So he'll be having to go that way then. All right. When he gets that space. So um, you get um four regular player market pieces here. You have to choose to be yellow, green, blue, or red, and then you get the the old wooden die, all right. And uh, you get the everybody starts here at home. That's the shack, all right. And then you're gonna be going around. There's these puddle spaces, the waves. I'll, I'll um, tell you what that's about in a little bit. Uh, Sigmund's just gonna be uh, moving around these bubbles here, okay? These bubble spaces. Everybody else is gonna be moving around these yellow spaces here. And they can go in the bubbles, 
and these wave spaces and here too but they can't they can't catch Sigmund on these four spaces and they can't get on this island or that island okay they can only stay in this part of the land or the water or these spaces around here all right so um Sigmund's only going to be going around this board unless you catch Sigmund and if you land on Sigmund or if Sigmund lands on you I'll tell you what happens you're going to bring him along with you back to home and somebody who does that first wins the game so Sigmund's going to start here in the star space all right cool that man's born all right so now um that's basically it so it's got cute little illustrations uh, it's one of those small board game box games. There's simple instructions here. Uh, you could pause it, read it, study it, learn it. All right. In case you get the game, it doesn't have any instructions. There you go. All right, and that's, that's pretty much basically it. So um, I'll start giving you the instructions right now. All right, so basically in this game, uh, the object of the game, the first player to bring Sigmund back to the clubhouse wins the game, okay? Um, so to start, Sigmund's placing the star in front of the, the family cave, all right? And uh, cards are shuffled and placed in a pile face up in the area marked for cards on the island okay like i showed you before all players start the door to the clubhouse okay and um hyrule goes first and the players follow and turn clockwise around the table around the board all right so rules okay so before a player rolls a dice they're gonna move sigmund two steps ahead on the bubble path so before anybody's turn, like, let's say, for example, it's my turn to go, right? Before I go and roll this die, I got to move Sigmund two spaces clockwise. One, two. All right? So, um, uh, before a player rolls the dice, they're going to move Sigmund. They move Sigmund two steps ahead on the bubble path. This trail of bubbles is the only path that Sigmund can use when he's alone. And he must go in the direction the path cards order him. Okay, um, a good rule to remember is move Sigmund 2 before you do, okay, before you do, all right, so that's that, so players may move anywhere on the, on the path, but cannot go on the islands, like I told you before, Sigmund must be caught when he's off the islands, so over here he could be caught, over here, uh, um, here, okay, so that's pretty much basically it. Um, I'll let you know about these spaces here in a little bit, but, um, uh, he, he must go in the direction of the arrow on a top card as he passes through that space, okay? So the top card is removed each time a player makes waves, which means over here. So if a player lands on this space here... Okay, uh, I'll tell you about that in a little bit. Along the path are blue puddles. That's these things. Okay, I'll tell you about it actually, right now, actually. Of water, okay, they're blue puddles of water marked with a black dot. Okay, um, so a player landing on one of these spots can make waves. Okay, they're gonna, they may remove the top card, okay, at the island. This will change the direction Sigmund must go on the island and perhaps make it easier to catch him off the island. If no cards remain in the card area, the cards may be reshuffled and used again as in the as in start of the game. Okay? If a spot is occupied by another player and you land on that player's space, okay, you're going to simply move to the next unoccupied space. Okay, so if a spot is occupied by another player, move to the next space beyond, except when freeing Sigmund. Okay, a player landing on the same spot as Sigmund. Okay. 
<clears throat> a player landing on the same spot as Sigmund. Uh, takes them back to the clubhouse by the count of their dice roll. Okay? So by using the die, now Sigmund's not going to move by himself two spaces. He's going to move with you four spaces. So you're going to go one, two, three, four. Okay? And try to make your way back to the clubhouse with Sigmund. Okay? Alright. So a player landing on the same spot as another player having Sigmund frightens Sigmund. Who hurries back to the islands two steps at a time at each player's turn. Okay, so somebody lands on the you know, They're gonna go you know, now he's gonna jump back and start moving backwards two spaces every person's turn. Okay. Uh Sigmund cannot be taken when he is on the green spots in front of the Ooze family cave. Okay, so now um that and that that's pretty much basically it. That's Sigmund the Sea Monsters game, the board game. All right, uh, let's go, go see my final thoughts about the game. Please pardon all the noise all around the board game room as I try out loud over their voices and noise from around the board game room to explain and tell you my final thoughts about the game. <laughs> Here we go, folks. Of course, there just couldn't be a better time. I guess they want to be in the show, too. Well, they can't. Well, anyway. <clears throat> All right, so. Final thoughts. Now, what do I do with this day? I think it's a cute, cool, fun game to play. You know, it's just, it's easy. It's one of those little small board game boxes. For, you know, games for kids. Um, you know, especially for kids back in the day. Uh, I like the show. I know they came out with a remake of the show or the movie, uh, a movie about the show, uh, back in the day, you know, years ago or something like that. Uh, but the show was cool. I liked it. Uh, the, the, I used to watch the reruns when I was a kid, but the, um, the, the game is all right. You know, you're just going to be the first one to catch Sigmund. It's like playing a game of tag. Everybody's trying to catch Sigmund. All right. And then everybody's trying to catch the person who caught Sigmund, and then takes Sigmund away as the as Sigmund moves backwards and stuff back in the islands. He's gonna be um, trying to get they're gonna players gonna have to try to catch him again, and then bring him back to the clubhouse. So it it's you know it it, it, it it's a cool game. I like it, but uh, that's pretty much basically it. So um, uh, if you're a fan of Sigmund and the Sea Monster, and or you like vintage games like this, whatever. You know, find it on eBay, or if you see it at a thrift shop, or a garage sale, uh, definitely pick it up. Especially if you see it at a thrift shop, or in a and or at a garage sale. You could probably get it for, you know, way a lot cheaper. But, um, uh, I'm interested in collecting games, especially old vintage board games. So, you know, uh, <clears throat> that's basically it. So I bought it. <laughs> but I like it. it. It's a cool game, and I'm glad, you know, I got it in my collection. And, um, you know, I'll play it every once in a while. You know, on board game night, it's a quick, like, you know, 15 minute game, pretty much. It, it could drag on a little bit, but, um, yeah, especially like when somebody lands on Sigmund, then you gotta change or makes the waves, then they gotta change the direction that Sigmund's going. So, you know, you think you almost have him, and then all of a sudden you don't because somebody lands on the wave space. So, it, it, there's some strategy involved in this game to try to get Sigmund away from players and try to catch Sigmund. You just got to plan out your route on how you want to move. You can move any way you want around the board, except for some of the spaces where they say that you can't, you know? So that's pretty much basically it. But that that's it. That's Sid and Marty Croft's Sigmund and the Sea Monsters game. The board game. That's it for today. Everybody looks like this game is over. Board game. Freak out.